going on everyone welcome rabbit here and what if i told you that this one rig right here could mine over nine thousand dollars in a year or even better yet what if this entire farm did mine about four hundred thousand dollars in one year's time that would be pretty darn insane wouldn't you think but this is crypto and the impossible happens what's going on everyone welcome rabbit here so today i'm going over a little bit of speculation may not happen may not even come close but the bull run is right around the corner and crazy things are about to emerge so i'm going to go through a video we're going to look at some numbers here and i am curious do you guys think my cpu mining farm yes cpu mining farm not trash mining farm like those GPUs over there. I'm just kidding, guys. I like joking about GPUs all the time. I truly do love GPU mining, but they don't make anything right now. They are profitable, yes, just nowhere near what these things are or a bunch of ASICs are. So, you know, they're the least profitable way to currently mine crypto. So miners shut off and I'm not buying any until it makes sense to do so. So right now I am currently CPU mine, have been doing it for a couple of years now, as most of you guys are aware. But what if my CPU mining farm could mine me over $400,000 in just one year's time? That'd be pretty damn amazing. So I do have a couple bags of multiple CPU mining coins. One of my largest ones is, as most of you guys are aware, Raptorium. Now Raptorium is emerging with one of the first ever UTXO DeFi platforms for coins here you know and that is going to be based on cpu mining and the ghost rider algorithm they're also going to have asset creation all this stuff is in testnet right now so it could be next level changes on a blockchain once they finally emerge so it's going to be interesting once those hit mainnet now the main thing right now i am referring to is zeph yes the bad boy zeph originally started as an xmr you know monero the privacy coin it was initially just a fork. You know, all of us were just thinking, okay, here's another XMR fork, fork of a coin, nothing's going to happen. Then they implemented Haven, which is a privacy stable coin built on Monero, but they did that on the Zeph chain. So now we have a privacy coin also with a stable privacy coin within the same blockchain. So that's actually kind of cool. And over the past couple months, it has been outperforming early XMR from back in 2016. So, so far, Zeph has been, you know, outdoing XMR in every way possible. So we're going to go to the workstation there. We're going to look at some numbers. And if it does anything like XMR did, we could see probably one of the largest gaining cryptos in the entire bull market happen on a CPU mineable coin. And that is Zephyr. Are you guys ready? Let's check it out. All right, guys. So here we are. Let's take a look at XMR early 2016. We can see XMR was only hanging out at a price around $1.97. You know, it shot up to about $12.44. And then it comes back down. You know, it does some things. $1 to $4 to $8 to $12, whatever. So right now, in terms of the cycles, this is where we are. 2024 is, in fact, 2016. 2017 is the bull run after this 2025 will be the peak of the bull run in this cycle next year so look what happens to xmr in 2017 at that bull run and it shot up to the moon at over 456 dollars so let's just fast forward it again because you're like oh one time happened no longer happen again so now we're going to fast forward into 2020 which again this is where we are in terms of 2024 this is the exact same part of the cycle we can see it was at 95 dollars it dipped back down to 36 dollars and just fun fact here as we know the binance fud went all across xmr and it happened pretty much the exact same time this happened look at february 12th time of recording right now february 14th you know and that happened a few days ago and pretty close to the same day almost exactly and that's when monero took a massive dip which it's doing right now it lost almost 50 percent here it was at 95 dollars down to 36 so it lost more than 50 percent of its value and what happened in 2021 oh look at that a magic recovery it didn't hit as high as the previous all-time high but the point is it went over to 441 dollars again and now this is where we're sitting currently with that dip around the same time frame 
hanging out at 121. So now that we saw early XMR, let's kind of look at the charts and see what Zeph is doing. All right, so here we are at CoinGecko to take a look at the charts because coin market cap started around this area right in here. So if we look at early Zeph here, we can see, look at this, a dollar, a dollar sixty, you know, a dollar, 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 two dollars, three dollars, you know, the same thing of what we pretty much saw XMR doing in 2016. Now the price has been scaling faster than early XMR, and it has been seeing higher price gains. Hence, right here we saw a shoot upwards of. $50 already now it's on a downturn but it is recovering as we're seeing the whole market in general so the point here is it has not seen a bull run yet and it has been outperforming the 2016 xmr so could this coin see at least 400 450 and if it keeps outperforming over 500 dollars a coin I really think it potentially, yes, has the chance to do so. So let's look at our mining rewards right now and see what it'll look like if we see at least $400 Zeph next year. All right, so here we are at rabidmining.com, the home of the CPU mining calculator. And there's gonna be a bunch more coins added in here very soon. So stay tuned for that. So a single 3900X, only one of them here at 11 cent per kilowatt hour. Scrolling down to Zeph, we can see currently right now the network hash rate is currently around 2 giga hash. Now this is usually averaging around 1.7 giga hash or so, but it does see the odd spike upwards of 3 giga hash. Keep in mind as this price starts to skyrocket, we could see 3, 4, 5 giga hash coming online which means mining right now and stuff is definitely worthwhile long term and those yields will be dropping but that all depends if it actually hits those price ranges so right now 61 cents after power 96 cents if you had free power we can see we have decent profitability here on a complete rig that only costs around 500 dollars canadian depending where you're located only like 200 300 dollars usd so anyway regardless uh right now we can see that the single 3900x is mining about 0.056 zeph now like i mentioned 1.7 giga hash or so is the average of what the network sits at it does hit these odd spikes it's usually around 0.7 zeph but just because we can see 0.56 right now that's the number i'm going to go with so 0.56 right now if zeph does hit 450 dollars by next year that is 25 dollars and 20 cents per 3900x now if i times that by 365 that is nine thousand one hundred and ninety eight dollars that one 3900x rig will make in only one year's time that is just turning it on right now and mining for one year that's pretty insane the roi is super fast obviously here but again guys it's speculation so my entire farm does consist of about, was it 45? Uh, nope, nope, 46, I think. So about 46, 3,900 X's between all my 7950s, the epics, and so on. It's about this in terms of hash rate. So if I calculate this right now, and I go into Zeph, that is about 2.6 Zeph per day. So I'm going to go 2.6. I'm going to times that by 450. That is $1,170 per day i'm gonna times that by 365 that is four hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars in one year's time so if zeph does hit you know that level of four hundred and fifty dollars or so my farm will mine over four hundred thousand usd which is like over a million dollars in canada here i'm just kidding it's not that bad of a you know swap over here but the point is if it hits that price level i could definitely see over four hundred thousand dollars in one year's time that is pretty insane all right guys so what do you think about that i know that's pretty darn insane isn't it just like those epics sitting right over there both of those single epic dual epic absolutely crazy but very expensive now so that kind of sucks but i am very curious what do you guys think about this whole situation do you guys think zeph could hit those price levels I definitely think they could. Obviously, it could definitely be wrong, and it comes nowhere near that. For all we know, maybe that $50 that Zeph already hit was already the all-time high, and it never sees it again. That is very well a great possibility. But the point is, if it does continue to outperform XMR, and if we do see a massive bull run, which we will next year, I have the potential, and so do all you guys, to make massive amounts of mining 
with your CPUs. So I am curious to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this whole situation down in the comment section below because you know what two three years ago last bull run i guess almost four years ago now when i did start my cpu mining farm alongside with my gpus a lot of you guys said don't mine on cpus they're trash but for the past two and a half three years here they have really been the only things that have been making money so thank you for checking out this video hit that subscribe button i'll see you on the next one rabbit out